the Nothing Phone 2A is the coolest looking budget smartphone that money can buy right now. And in today's video, I will tell you everything you need to know about this smartphone. Now, let's start this video by talking about the price of this smartphone. And as I just mentioned earlier, it is a budget smartphone, which means it is cheaper. It costs 350 US dollars. And for that price, what do you get? You get an 8 gig of RAM and 128 gigabyte of internal storage, a big battery, a big 5,000 milliamps battery, a big display. But remember, it is a budget smartphone, which means there are a lot of compromises. For that reason, the price is cheaper. So we're going to talk about all the compromises, all the best features, all the best specs about this smartphone. So just stay tuned to the end of the video. For the design of this smartphone, and as I just mentioned on the start of this video, that this phone is the coolest looking smartphone that money can buy. The coolest looking budget smartphone that money can buy. And trust me guys, it is the coolest looking smartphone. For $350, this phone looks great. I just love the transparent design of nothing phones, being able to see the components through the back of the phone. It looks good. It looks similar to the Nothing Phone 2 and it's very similar to an iPhone, square, flat display, which everybody love flat display and the lighting. We're going to talk more about the lighting in the back, but that's one of the best. That's one of the reasons why to me, this is the coolest looking smartphone. Those lights, which are highly customizable. I love those lights, man. The cameras are just two cameras. We're going to talk more about the cameras later, but they're also good looking. So overall, the design of this phone, man, it just good looking for $350. You're not buying a boring looking smartphone. You are buying a cool looking smartphone. The build quality is where there is the biggest compromise on this smartphone. That's because it is made mostly of plastic. The back of the phone is plastic. The frame is all plastic. The front glass, the front display, the glass on the front display is Gorilla Glass Victus 5, which is good. But overall build quality is mostly plastic. But it doesn't feel cheap though. It doesn't feel like a plastic. If you hold this phone in your hand, you won't, I mean, you won't be able to tell if it's plastic or glass, but it is plastic. And the reason why I know it is plastic is because it is very light. This is probably the lightest phone I've ever held in my hand. It weighs just 190 gram, guys. That's the lightest phone. And also, there is a compromise when it comes to the IP rating also. It has an IP54 water and dust resistant. So there are so much compromises on this smartphone and that's the reason why the phone is way cheaper. For the display, this smartphone has a 6.7 inches of AMOLED screen with HDR10+, 120 Hz refresh rate and a peak brightness that can go up to 1300 nits. That's a peak brightness. The resolution is 1080 by 20 by 2412. So it's just a 1080p display. But trust me, guys, it's a good looking 1080p display. So much color, so much contrast. The black is deep black. Really good display. It has a PPI density of 394 and always on display. And the always on display of nothing phones are really cool. They're different with pixelated, a lot of pixels. So it's just a good looking always on display. The performance of this smartphone has some compromises. That's because it doesn't have a Snapdragon chipset in here. It has but a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro, which is 4 nanometer. It has an Android 14 with nothing OS 2.5.4. For the RAM, you can buy this phone either in 8 gig of RAM or 12 gig of RAM. The 8 gig of RAM comes with 128 gigabyte of internal storage or 256 gigabyte of internal storage, while the 12 gig of, of RAM comes with 256 gigabyte of internal storage. So there is no 512 and there is no 1 terabyte. The battery capacity is another good reason to consider the nothing. 2A. That's because it has one of the biggest battery on any budget smartphone at 5,000 milliamps, which you can charge it at up to 45 watt wire charging, which according to nothing, 50% in under 23 minutes and 100% in one hour. 
which is really good. That's fast charging. And according to the company, this phone battery can last you up to two days on a single charge. That's a lot. And you got to remember, the display is only 1080p. So I, quite, I believe you'll be able to achieve two days with this battery life. Now let's talk about the cameras on this smartphone. There are two main cameras and both cameras are 50 megapixel. One of the lens is wide angle at f1.9 while the second lens is an ultra wide angle lens with f2.2. And with these uh, cameras, you can shoot up to 4K videos at 30 frames per second. 1080p at 60 or 120 frames per second. The selfie camera has more megapixel. It has a 32 megapixel at f2.2, which is also wide, but you can only shoot 1080p video at 60 frames per second with the selfie camera. Now let's talk about the other important features that are available on this smartphone. Even though it is a budget smartphone, it has lots of good features. It has stereo speakers, guys, and the stereo speaker sounds really good. It's a good sounding smartphone. It has NFC, which is a 360 degree NFC, guys. Most NFC are at the back of a phone, but this all around the phone, there is NFC. It has Wi-Fi 6, it has Bluetooth 5.3, GPS, it has an in-display fingerprint, which works quite good. It has USB Type-C 2.0. And above all, it has lighting, guys. Three LED lights at the back of the phone, which can be used for notifications. It can be used for cameras. You can also use it as a flash when taking a photo. And these LED lights are highly customizable. That's one thing that so many people, including myself, has been a, a huge fan of Nothing Phones because they came up with something that looks different. Nothing phones are just different from every smartphone you see in the market. So those lighting at the back are incredible. Even though on the Nothing 2A, the lighting are just three as compared to almost six on the Nothing phone, the Nothing 2 phone, which is a flagship smartphone. So you're paying high price for more lighting, but on the 2A, only three light. But still, it's good, highly customizable. I really love it. So what is my final thought about the Nothing Phone 2A? Honestly, guys, I love it. As I mentioned at the start of this video, this is the coolest looking budget smartphone that money can buy. And for the price of 350 US dollars, holy cow, you get so much for this phone, guys. Forget about the plastic beard because it doesn't look like a plastic. Even though it feels like a plastic, it's very lightweight, which lets you know that, hey, this is a plastic beard. But overall, the phone is a good looking phone, highly customizable LED light, good display, bigger battery. Listen, if it's me and my 350 US dollars right now, I'm running directly to a nothing phone store and I buy this phone. This is a good looking budget smartphone. I highly recommend it. To me, this is the best, or I would say probably the best looking budget smartphone in a long time. Even though it has a lot of compromises, but for the price, there is nothing to complain about. So yeah, that's all about this video, guys. Let me know if you have any question about this smartphone. Just drop it down in the comment section. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notification for a lot of good videos come up on Bigfield TV. Until then, see you into the next one. Peace.